Hello everybody, how goes it? Rabbitsmore here, and this is my tutorial for a password protected lock in Minecraft, which is actually the most secure lock that you can have in Minecraft. And I'm sure you're already familiar with the other types of locks that people have made over the years, using combination locks of maybe pressing buttons in a certain order, or flipping levers in a certain way, or rotating items and item frames in a certain way, and these usually end up very complex, they have a lot of redstone wires coming out of the back, going into huge redstone contraptions, and they can have hundreds to thousands of possible password combinations, so they are very secure and they are really cool, but they end up being pretty big and complex, and the way that I have made it, this is my way of opening the lock here. So it's very small, much smaller than the rest of these, and infinitely more secure than the rest of these as well. It actually uses a password lock, which is a word lock, so I can show you here what I'm talking about. You can rename items using an anvil to whatever you want to be, like this one here is an example, just pass one, two, three, you can use capitals, lowercase, you can use symbols and numbers. So it's just like logging into a computer or a website, so it's a super, super secure way of locking something. And it will only work if you put the correct item in the top there, so this is the whole system of above ground right here, so you can see the whole thing. It's still, again, very easy to build and very small. And I'll show quickly how it works here. You saw we had down here, renamed cobblestone, named capital P pass one, two, three. So if I grab these items out of my inventory, I have the correct one here, one that is incorrect because the lowercase p, and just normal cobblestone. So if I throw normal cobblestone in, you'll see it just dispenses it, the note block doesn't go off. Do the one with just the lowercase, note block doesn't go off again, and it shoots it out again. And now if I do the correct key, you can see that our note block going off again, so I'll do that again, and one more time. So you can see it only takes the correct stackable item and only the correctly named one, including capitals and everything else. So it ends up being extremely secure, so I'm going to show how to build this and talk about all the different possible combinations that you can use for this. So let's jump over to that. Alright, so now I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this here, and I also want to mention that I will have a link below this video to an MC Edit schematic of this, so you can just download that and put it straight into your world if you just want to have an easier way to look around at it, see how it works, and maybe have an easier time building it. So definitely check that out if you want to. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this up above ground here so that I don't have to be digging down in the ground and being in a tight space. So starting in your world wherever you're putting this, you're going to have a flat spot, your ground here, and you're probably going to want to put this up against a wall or build a wall for it so that it covers up your hoppers later on. But starting at the wall here, we're going to go down two blocks from the center piece, and we're going to place a dropper facing sideways here. And then next to the dropper underneath our floor, we're going to have a hopper going into the side here. And then above this hopper, we're going to have a hopper facing the other direction. So these are facing opposite directions right now. You can go ahead and break that and break these two. And then we're going to have two hoppers going into the top of that dropper right there. So I'm going to go back above here place a dropper going straight down and another one, or a hopper going straight down and another one, and then cover that up, break out this block, and then place a hopper going into this side hopper right here. So this is our dropping point for our item and most of the sorting system here. Okay, so next we're going to work on our comparator loop that's going to empty out our dropper anytime it has items in it. So starting from our dropper right here, we're going to place a comparator facing this direction, and that's going to go into a repeater. And then we're going to have, actually I'm just going to go ahead and place quartz here real fast. For my example, we're going to have redstone going all the way around on the side here, back to the comparator. And then on the other side, you can pitch, pick whichever side you want. You're going to have two redstone going out into a repeater here, and then a solid block next to your dropper on the side where it's not going to be dropping. So now, anytime there are items in here, it will send a signal around in a loop and drop items out until it's finished emptying it. And then on this side, next to our dropper, I'm going to go ahead and place a bucket of lava so that it just helps destroy any items that come out so they aren't collecting on the ground. And if you want, you can go ahead and place some glass around that lava as well to help the items fall on the lava as they get shot out. And it's not too big of a deal if some get shot out over here because they'll disappear eventually anyways. So that part's good to go. Alright, so next we're going to be working on the item sorter for our system here, and that's going to pull out the correct password if someone throws it in. So starting with these bottom two hoppers here, we're going to place a block right next to this one, 
And then we need a comparator going out from this hopper straight out. That's going to go into another block that has redstone. And then that redstone is going to go down one block into another redstone dust here. And then underneath this one, we're going to break out and place a repeater facing this direction. So just like this, and you can set that as is. And then on the other side of the block that this repeater is going into, we need a redstone torch. So I'm going to break that out so we can see. You can see the repeater is going into this block, and that will have a redstone torch underneath it. And that's good to go. So now we just need to put our password that we choose in our top hopper here. So first of all, you need to pick any item that you want. And it can be any stackable item. So it needs to be anything that can stack once you start picking up multiples of them. So that's part of why this password is extremely secure is before anyone can start guessing your password they have to know which type of stackable item you're using so pick anything that can stack and I think there are almost 400 different items so just go ahead and pick one I'm just gonna go ahead and use cobblestone for my example you might want to use something a little more rare than cobblestone so that people have a harder time guessing obviously but once you've chosen it go ahead and take your amount you're going to need at least 23 so that will be the bare amount that you need if you have a hard time finding whatever stackable item it is that you're choosing, you'll need at least 23. So take the 23, throw it in your anvil, and then you can name this password whatever you want it to be. It can have lowercase, it can have capital, it can have numbers, and it can have symbols. So, And I think it can also have spaces. So whatever you want here, and it can be up to 30 characters long, which is obviously more than anyone would ever possibly need. So pick whatever password you want within 30 characters, and any amount of capitals, lowercase, or numbers. I'm just going to use, again, capital P, pass, one, two, three, just as an example. It's obviously not very secure. Go ahead and take your items out. That will take one level of enchanting. And then go into this hopper right here. And then what we're going to do is place one of each all the way across here of our password block. And then just put the rest, or actually, let's take one out. And then put 17 over on the side here. So you should have 18 on the right side and then one in every other slot here, and then just go ahead and toss one extra in there, and that's going to go down into our bottom hopper here, as we can see from the side. That's just going to sit there for now, and now the system's good to go, so anytime that someone throws capital P, pass one, two, three in the top here, the system will send a signal through, and it will do the correct lock, and the signal going out to wherever you're wanting to lock, if you're locking a door, or locking, I don't even know, maybe a dispenser that's dropping certain items for you, it will go out from this signal here. So you can see in my example over here that it's going into a note block just to show that it is working correctly, but there are many other examples. I'll actually go ahead and build a couple real quick so you can see those. All right, so I just did some quick examples here. I built some quick doors. We've got a trap door system here and an iron door system here. And as you can see, it just comes out from where our item sorter system is going out from this signal here and I just built a system here this is where you're going to want to build your part for your lock or whatever you're locking so for my example I just went into a block with a redstone torch and that goes up into another redstone torch and that goes up into our door here so if I go up top and throw the incorrect item in nothing will happen but if I throw the correct item in the door will open and let us through and same with our other example here and these do open and close pretty fast so keep that in mind that you'll have to go through pretty quick but that's why I like this type here with the trapdoor because we can just stand on top of it and it will drop us in once we open it. So I'll throw the incorrect one in, nothing happens. Throw the right one in and it drops us down into wherever we're going. Maybe our storage system with all of our diamonds or something like that. But yeah guys, just some quick examples to show what you can do with this type of system. And you can see how it's extremely secure since we have almost 400 different types of stackable items we can choose from. And then you have 30 characters of space you can choose from, and then capitals and lowercase and symbols and all of those things. So it's definitely the most secure possible password you can have in Minecraft. And I hope it helps you out for whatever you're wanting to use it for. I hope to see some cool stuff made with this. But anyways, guys, if this helped you out, leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can always subscribe and check out the rest of my channel. But as always, thanks for watching. Have an excellent day, and see you later.